and 40 is a challenge to us that there must be something they are doing that we are not doing and that's the reason why we decided to bring some of their experience and our own to put it together to teach the, uh, us as the body of Christ so that we can be strengthened and the people of the world will not be mocking us. Do you understand? When people hear that Christian divorce, they, they used to look at us as if uh, 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 we are not reading Bible. That despite some of the challenges they are facing in their own uh, angle, they are still coping. Why is it that Christian cannot stay even amidst challenges? I don't know whether you are getting me. Because some, some, some I don't want to mention that a Muslim or from the other side, some of them look at us and say, ah, they're supposed not to have problem as a Christian. Because some of them are actually reading our Bible. And you know, from their own angle, they told them, you can marry as many as you want as a man. Do you understand? They don't see anything, any fault in that. But they, they expect us as a Christian to have a perfect home. They want to see, you know, uh, an emulate from us. And that's the reason why we are doing all this to teach us on how to uh, manage our life and our home. Praise the Lord. Genesis chapter 2 verse 18. I will be taking uh, the first scripture from there. And I would like us to please let's read together so that it can benefit us. One, two, and let's go. And the Lord God said, it is not good that a man should be alone. I will make him an helpmate for him. Verse 19 please. Is anybody there? Should we open our Bible? Okay, please let's. Okay, and out of the ground of the of the uh, of the uh, out of the ground, the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the hair, and brought them unto Adam to see what he will call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the hair and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found an helpmate for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God has taken from man, made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, This now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh, she shall be called a woman because she was taken out of man. Go on, please. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. Go on. And they were both naked, and the man and his wife we are not ashamed. I pray this morning that the Lord will grant unto us wisdom in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray, Father, for the unction so that we can be blessed. Grant unto the speaker this morning in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. From the angle of the, uh, the women, I will say some things, but before then, I just want to chip in something this morning for the singles. We decided to uh, show some of our singles some of the things we've read from the Bible. And the first thing I would like to know is that the Bible says, God brought so many things, so many animals to Adam to see whether he can pick any of it. And that was where I took my message from last week. And I told us that we should please not to be a beast. Some people don't like what I said. But see, the scriptures cannot be broken. We are reading it together. Actually, from the beginning, this is the plan of God for every marriage. The Bible says, and the man, and the man will leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and the two will be one they were both naked naked as in there was nothing they are keeping from each other that is how it's supposed to be right from the beginning but do you know where the, the mixed up comes from it is from the beginning when we are still single and that's the reason why i will quickly talk to the to the uh the singles this morning i, I won't call youth because we have some people who are you know, above that age. Now, the point is, when you are single, there are some things you need to, to check before you go in. Some of us say, ah, mama, mama is preaching something. Is it every home that can, that, that such thing can work? Some of us, I believe so many things like that are crossing our mind. But from the beginning, this is the scripture. 
But do you know that we are the one that did the wrong thing that makes our marriages not to work the same way? Because I wrote something here, you will be the one to determine your hand. How you want your marriage to be is in your hand when you are yet, when you are as in when you are still single. I was saying something last week. You don't meet the man or the woman you're about to marry as a child of God. Married to listen, you want to change the person. He said, No matter what church or my change. I have about five or six examples in our church here that they were not born again they were the one who brought those men to the church to be converted and they are expecting the person to be a better husband no way because anything you do you 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 don't uh, uh check on the way okay like now the senior and elder go and get some sort of thing for us and you you didn't even bother to check what they gave you. You are bringing it straight. You know anything you... Okay, there was something that happened. I sent, the, I sent one of my daughter's house. Go and get something from the eatery. And when she came here, we opened it. It's, it's supposed to be about four pieces of meat pie. They gave her three. Now, coming here, we open it. I said, where is the fourth one? He said, ah, I did not check. I said, but if Matt did that, if, will you return? I said, they said, good. Uh, bought, I mean, sold in good condition is not what refundable. That is why so many of us who are married today cannot go out of that marriage. You did not check the packaging before going in. You left the, the, the eatery without checking what they packed for you. It all begins from the day when we are cutting. When two of you are together, do you check the man? Do you check the woman? And that's the reason why I'm talking to all the youths this morning, all our singles. Don't say because most of you check anybody to what you want let me marry. You are making a big mistake. Because there's no how you can change somebody that has been used to one particular lifestyle. You don't want to bring him. I want him to be coming to church. Do you meet him in the church? I'll talk more on this in the second service. But please, don't let us be bitter. What mama is preaching is not because I'm, I'm I'm preaching from my own angle. Pick from what I am preaching. This place is a buffet. I mean, church is a buffet. You pick the ones that will work for you. And I know there is nothing we are preaching here that is not working. I have been married for twenty years. It's working. The scripture is truth. There is nothing you can say about the scripture. It's go straight way. So whatsoever you don't uh, check at the way when you are coming in, there is no how. You may try, but it's not total. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So please, before we go in, because I'll be talking to the married, please check the package. Don't just say, I'm a man, dear man. All what we are teaching may not help you, but you are privileged more than those who are married. Those who are married are for intact. But you that you are still on the way, please make sure you make use of all what we are saying now so that you won't have problems. And I pray in Jesus' name to have a smooth journey in your marriage in Jesus' name. Now let's go to the marriage now. I told us something last week that God expected every woman to be an helpmate. He wants us to help them, our husband, spiritually. And I brought the story of one woman. You remember that last week I showed us two women in the Bible that we are not doing well. The, I mean, one did well and the second one was not doing well at all. The first person was Zipporah, the wife of Moses. I told us that throughout the journey of Moses, going through the stress, the wife was not where to be found. And God says we should help them spiritually. How? If you are not in the place where you are supposed to help the man, there is no how the man can receive help. You are called an help me. Financially, you must be able to help him. I told us about three points last week. I told us the first one spiritually, second one financially, third one materially. And the first one we discussed last week was on the spiritual aspect. And I remember as I was preparing again for this service, the book of Ruth chapter 1. Ruth, Ruth chapter 1. I saw something there and I said, I'll quickly open our, 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 the eyes of women to eat. The man 
decided that let's move from where we are to a better place. Ah, ah, they said there is famine in the land. Ah, Nigeria is not working. Nigeria is not working. Shall we move to Europe? Shall we move to America? Shall we move to this so, 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 so place? Maybe we should go to Dubai. And everybody, a woman was happy. And as they were about to move, they moved with their two uh, sons. When they got there, the Bible said, after some years, the man died. The fish only had died. After 10 years, two sons also died when we are talking about the spiritual aspect we are talking to us as a woman do you know she was left alone because she was not sensitive spiritually you want to help that man spiritually to foresee the man can come up oh we want to move from this town. let's go to Bodija. you are the one that will be there Pray, oh Lord, but he gave all roads that lead nowhere. Oh God, every journey that can destroy the life of this man, I destroy it. I stop it. Pray. By the time the one man will get there, they will tell him what he got in on. Because it's a way, a road that leads to nowhere. The way they, they pack all their things from that place to the other, other country, and the man died. The two sons died. And do you know I know the funny part? The woman now stand up and say, Let me go back to where we are coming from. Where was the place before they left? Because she was not sensitive spiritually. She lost all that God gave her. I pray in the name of Jesus, that will not be our portion. But spiritually, as a woman, we had the entrance, we had the gate. Don't say go come she on the head of the home. If you don't have be sensitive. And the second point is where I really want to go. Second one, I said financially, because of our time, I'm waiting to rush so that Papa can come. Financially, we are asked to assist. Not that you should be giving the man the money, because some of us got it wrong last week. If we are, I'm not talking that, oh, when you live, you pack all your things, you not throw it to the man. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. But you are actually helping yourself if you know how to how to how to put one together to make it ten. When the man is no one in your life, you won't be stranded. But what you have not been doing before, do you know? It is not easy to just jump into it and start doing it when there is no man in your life again. Let's see something in the book of Second Kings, chapter four, from verse one to verse seven. I will compare some women again with to us so that we see the difference between two of them. Second Kings chapter four and verse one to verse seven. Look at the life of this woman. And we have it on the screen. Or should we never let's start hoping? Second Kings chapter four and verse one to verse seven. Now let's look at the screen. Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord. And the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bound men. And Elisha said unto her, What shall I do for thee? Tell me, what hast thou in thy house? And she said, Thy handmaid has nothing in the house save a pot of oil. Go on. Verse 3 says, Then he said, Go borrow thee vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels. Borrow not a few. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, who is there? And when thou art coming, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and shalt pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. Verse 5. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and upon her sons, who brought the vessels to her, and she poured out. And verse 6. And it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said unto her son, Bring me yet a vessel. And he said unto her, There is not a vessel more, and the oil stayed. Seven. Go on, go on. <clears throat> then she, she came and told the man of God, and he said, Go sell the oil. Go sell the oil and pay thy debt and live down and, and thy children of the rest. Do you get this message? She has not been doing that. And that was the reason when the man died. You know, he told us last week in the second service. Please know the, 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 
their capacity. Manage their capacity. Don't push them into problem. Don't let them die. So that you know. Now this woman pushed that man to die. Imagine. She has not been doing anything. The Bible says when she now got to the servant of God, the servant of God now asks her, what do you have? So she has something at home that she can sell. The man of God said, go inside. Pour it. Do this and this. Go and sell. What she's supposed to have been doing when the man was alive to keep the man long and lasting was what she started doing when the man died. Now the point I told us last week, I'm, on, I'm saying that so that you can develop the art of making money. Before the man died, some of us, we are so relaxed. We believe that every bills must be paid by our husband. And by the time this kind of a thing happens, which we pray it will not happen on time, what will you do? Papa was saying something about some women that they, our cooks, three of them, they were widow. And they came there, they said, we don't do this before. It was when our husband died. That we started, we, we, we now know how to pay rent. We know how to pay students' school fees. Nobody is praying for such. But when you don't know how to manage finance, now that the man is alive, what will happen after he has, he has been with the Lord? See, a woman must be financially strong. Stand up on your feet and do well. Help him. Help the man to build his own and build your own at the same time. Let two of you be strong. When one is weak, the Bible says two is better than one. If one falls, another person will do what? Will carry the person home. But if, you, if the man falls and there is nobody to help, will that not be a shame? I have seen so many things. So many counseling. So many people meet me and they, were, they will be telling me so many. And I keep telling them, what were you doing? Till this thing happened. What, what, where, do you have any savings to help the man again? Because these are the things that will tell whether you are actually helping the man or not. Don't use her. My, 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 I could remember one of the times we were with our mentor and she was sharing some things with her. She said there was a particular woman, her husband went into politics and the man won. Every day, every week and every month, the man will be coming, giving her money and say, I don't want you to work, I want you to be a full housewife. Anywhere you want to go in the world, I'll make sure I finance you. But I don't want you to go out. Be inside the house. He said the woman came to her and asked her, Mommy, what should I do? She told her, all the money this man is giving you, what, go and start saving it. Use it to buy what you will come back to, to later. She started saving and saving. Only after a few years, the man, the political ambition dropped and it came down. He was about to commit suicide. That was when the woman asked, what do you really want? He said, everything is collapsed. There's nothing again. And you, you are not working. The woman smiled and said, don't worry. I will, I, I, I will see what I can do. She went out and came back with a, with a bank check and gave the man. The man opened the check and, and saw 10 million. He said, can you start off with something like this? All the money you have been giving me all these days, this is the result. I've invested it. Can you start with 10 million? I still have some other money, but let's start with that. Anything you want to do, go and start doing it with this money. The man prostrated and said, you are my savior. Can you look at you and say, you are his savior. You are there to help the man. You are an help meet. Help to meet. Help to meet. Financially help him. Some of us say, the man doesn't care. He knows how to lavish money. What are you doing? What will you be? What, what would they say about you? You are not part of anything in his life financially to strengthen him. How will he be able to stand? Now that he's on the floor, where, who will help him? These are the things we should always have at the back of our mind. Only my dulobai, show my pressure. In one way in your heart, have it. In another way, be, be positive. But everything about life is not one way. Because it is dangerous. And number three, let me quickly say this before Papa comes up. I say you should encourage him to keep pushing in his financial life. Don't just sit and say, share your coin, share banking, you know. What of other job? You can encourage him. Hey, take us long, no, Let's do it like this. Oh, come in. Oh, she no, bye. Oh, come in. Oh, she's she, bye. So, most band will say, I, 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 we don't teach me everything about, about my life, but they are actually hearing. Some of us will get discouraged. He say, he doesn't want me to talk. It's a lie. The ego of a man will not make the man to say yes at that moment. 
but it will be thinking over it. Over and over. How can I make it work? This woman is talking. By the time he will come up with his own joker, you will be surprised. He won't tell you he will do what, he's, what you are saying. But please, try. Keep pushing him. Keep encouraging him. So that financially, he can stand and you too can stand. And it will last long. Number three, I told us last week that materially God wants us to help our husband. He wants us to be uh, an help me to them. He wants us to help them. I said be supportive when it comes to getting properties. Be fully involved. Be fully involved. Remember, it's for your children in the future. Whatsoever the man is putting together, is for you and for your children in the future. Don't say, Hey, hey. Oh, yeah, me. At least I've been in this one for some years now. I understand what it takes for a man and a woman to build things together. Not only for themselves, but actually for the woman. In the Igbo tradition, eh? When the man, when you are not involved in that man's life, after the death of the man, the family will come and chase that person out of the house. That's a very sitting there. The reason why I'm saying this is because in our generation, the younger one, the family always want to prognose into our fears of what is going on between husband and wife. But when they notice that you are nowhere to be found, auntie is a very quiet. If she doesn't know anything, in fact, your husband will be telling she does not know anything about this thing that I'm doing. It's a shame unto you as a wife. Be fully involved. Let him go and buy things. Maybe you are building house. Let your name be on the paper. It's not every woman. Eh? A man can chase out of the house. If you say, oh yeah, go. Go where? Oh yeah, the whole block, half of it. Can I break it down and separate it? The roof, can I remove it? The curtains, shall I, shall I remove it? These are the things you will have confidence to talk. Don't say, for me, getting it property should be for a local Ah, it's risky. You are not building the future for the children. I say, remember, it's not all women a man can send out of the house because almost everything the man owns, the wife also have her own signature on it. I don't shame you. Only rally. I don't rally. Oro calling. I don't call him. If we buy it, the the windows full of new shit. Half on it. The man God will, will not even have that confidence to tell you. Please, can you move out of this house? Which house? But I noticed that in our generation, we men we don't want to be doing that. It's risky. Hey, come and hear stories. I don't want to. I don't want us to be coming here to be mentioning names. Because it's a it's, it's, it's a, against our 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 what's the life our profession, please. But if I begin to mention him, there are so many people in the problem now because of the neglect those things. And the man would be quiet, be doing it secretly. Some of us would say, and you are still bragging, and you don't have anything. You are keeping. Is risky. You are brought into that man's life to help him. Help him. Help him. Tell him when it is time for him to buy land. Tell him when it is necessary for him to get all some, you know, good things of life. Use money to, to tie things down. Because I used to say it in Yoruba, if you don't manage it well, he can go away. But when you put things down, money will remain with you. If you manage the money well, it will remain. It is not time that when everybody is going to party, you two are much will be at your money. It's not when you are when you don't have anything in, on ground and you are doing that. I'm sorry to say such a woman is sitting on odd seat. I beg you. Help him. In the spiritual life, financial life, and it's in his, you know, material life. Make sure you are there. 
help him in these three areas. I only want to conclude my ministration for this uh, the part A. This is the part B. Trying to let us understand what I was trying to say last week. Please, in all this area, put things together. Don't be like the prophet's wife. The Bible says, until the man died. That was when her eyes opened. When the man was alive and when he was borrowing money, she did not go to the prophet. Oh. When there was problem, by Elushem or the prophet. What, what, you know, at times I sit down and I begin to ask questions. This, especially this scripture. What was this woman doing before this time? Stress in local mind. He has no choice than to die. Oh, I found one more shake and that is what used to happen when a man died. That if the woman is not doing anything, a man or fellow she share. I just came in all right. Let me go and start doing joyma. I'll be going to school and I'll be working. And that was the reason why my husband rebuked one of my daughter and said, I have a plan. If I get to school, I will go. My husband said, eh, If I slap you, am I dead? You know, something like that. Because it shows that the man is not responsible. But you are the one who can be of help. Help your husband. Women, are you going to do that? I am doing that. Please help them. Help them so that they can, they can get to where God wants them to get to. Don't look at the message and say, it's not part of what we are saying. It's part of it. Because some of our mothers make that mistake when they are coming up. And that is the reason why so many of us are where we are today. Don't make that mistake. Shall we please put our hands together for God's servant as we are coming to take us to the second part. Hallelujah. 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 So what is the ministry of women in marriage? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Say, I want the women to talk. Women, what is your ministry in marriage? Help me. You are the help me. Now that's why it is important all our parents that are here raise your daughters in such a way that they will not be uh, looked upon as non-entities in their husband's house. Raise them well. You know, I and my wife were discussing this morning, when, you know, the way a man receives uh, the way a man receives you is the way he will handle you. The, the way he receives you. Now, kidney will go be bought, lachi labor by how are you when he met you. It's very important. You know, you won't just treat you as trash. If they sent you to school, you went to school. And if you didn't even go to school, you learned a particular trade, and you know that trade well. You are doing well before you come to his house. He will listen to you and welcome you well. Praise the Lord. Now, to complement what she has said, amen. And if I was telling the staff that the scripture I was looking for in Judges that they didn't find it for me, but I found it myself. Judges chapter 14, verse 7. Look at it very well. I will address both the youth and to the married. Now, and listen, I want you to understand the power uh, of, uh, in this uh, particular part, we'll be looking at um, how effective communication can be. Now, look at this. Judges chapter 14, verse 7. The Bible says, and he went down, look at this, and talked with the woman. Now, this is the woman that Samson married, but they did not allow her to live long at all. And he went down and talked with the woman and did what? And what happened? And she pleased Samson well. Now, the Bible did not say, and Samson went down to have sex with the woman and he was satisfied. No, 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 no. That relationship did not start with sex. The Bible did not say, and Samson went down to the woman and they went to uh, eat trees together. No. The Bible says he went to her. Now, let me talk to the youths here. Before you will be, you be agree that maybe this lady or this man, you know, I'm talking to the men, she has spoken to the women. I'm going to go ahead. Let's go to the altar. Listen, you must get to a point where in your conversations, as you relate in your friendship, if you are not satisfied, please don't go further. Did you hear me? If you are not satisfied, you know one of the mistakes so many people made, where there is so much crisis 
in homes today. Some of you met yourselves and you just quickly conclude. Now, if you look at Samson, it was from the discussion he had with the woman, he discovered the mentality of the woman. The Bible says, hear me, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And you should understand that your mouth eh, is the signpost of what is in your heart. If a person is matured, hear me, or if a woman is going to be submissive, that's why we used to tell the youths during courtship, don't have sex. Show it to Batin Hear me. You know what that means? You will be pleased with everything because you're already having sex. I also said, in relationship, now I've told you several, don't allow gifts to close your eyes. When you are talking, listen to the spirit behind the person's words. Something didn't go further until he was satisfied. Let, let's read verse 8 of Judges chapter, chapter 14, verse 7. Show me verse 8. After talking to her, he discovered they were compatible. And look at that. And after a time, he returned to take her. Can you see? He said, Something from Loyu, one John Balamolo. No, 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 no. He be Oroni. What is the essence of courtship? Courtship time is talking time. I will tell you what to talk. Talking in order to discover. Sherry, problem to most of Opolopo in my face in no marriage. To buy a courtship with you, Opolopo in the fair alone. Because some of you, eh? Eh, were satisfied in the courtship. Get to run into marriage. Because that person's intelligence didn't satisfy you. Something, after talking with her, he was pleased that, ah, ah, you will be in Ah, me, brother, Jekolo. Ah, me, brother, Jekolo. You know that, by, by, by talking, you can know that this man is the man that can be my husband. Hello. I'm not talking about money. See, can I tell you this truth? Money cannot marry you. Hello? I'm not talking about beauty, bro. Beauty cannot marry you. All those things used to fade. In fact, when you see yourself too much every day, that beauty that is shocking will not be straight again. But you know what will satisfy you for life? It is the person's mindset. I love the way you think. Now, look at the woman I married. Why? Our marriage will be 20 years. I'm thinking of celebrating it. You know why we are still together for 20 years? I love our way of thinking. She sees me as I end. I can instruct her to follow me. Now, this one that I, you know, that sometimes I sit down with some of you. When your husband says, shut up, you say, shut down. Get out, you say, get in. My own wife doesn't have that mindset. I've, I've known that from Kochi. That's not the way she thinks. Hello. Now, my own wife has conscience. These are things I saw on the way. She has conscience. I'm telling you. <laughs> you know, she has conscience. That's why at times you see so many people miss it at the place of the choice. And when you miss it at that point, you know, in Christendom, there's nothing like divorce. One man for me, Lord, Lord, you. That was what Mama was saying yesterday, last week, Sunday. He said, Some of you. I was talking to the woman. Where you choose, choose uh, where you went to, to pick husband, you are now trying to compare your husband with our pastor. It doesn't work. She will tell you more on that in the second service. And some of you brought to, where did you pick your wife? I met my wife serving God. One, she was born again. Two, she was a worker in the church. Actively working for God. 
Can I tell you this truth? The first time she visited me, I was still living with my parents. My parents gave me one room. Now, and because of the, the way I live my life, eh, I wanted to succeed right from time. I intentionally did not buy a television because I did not want to be distracted. If you enter my room that time, ask her, it's full of books. Because I had one message from Mommy Funke Adetubelu that time. She was one of the most popular women of God that time. She said, don't marry a man because of his television. Even if he does not have television, as long as he has vision, he will minister on television. Not only will he buy television. That word is ringing in my heart. It was ringing in my heart that time. So I didn't buy TV. So when she visited me, for the first time, she entered my room and sat down. Ah, And they used to call me Brother Prince Will. Brother Prince Will. Any TV ni, ah, money me ni. That month, she was working that time with the company. She collected her salary and called me. Because if you call me, it's after service. I just have a brother, I'm very after service. We were discussing. She said, How much will a television cost? I said, That time, was it 10,000? That time, she gave me the money, and I went to buy my first television. Now, what did I see that time? I saw her mindset. And it only for me in a way. Already from Lati succeed. If you marry a lady that you're always selling recharge, sending recharge card, you send recharge card, you send airtime, you send uh, data, you send uh show it with Uti Beres in Beru to Uo. Lati or no. Book by here any wife might be. Samson spoke with her and discovered that he did what? She pleased him. Now, when speaking, what do you look at? Who is behind the camera? You have caught my hand. Let's look at what do we what should we talk about? What should we talk about? Hallelujah. It is, I wrote here, it is by creating time to talk that you will know if a person and you will be compatible. Sex and gifts can block your view from seeing the spirit by which a person speaks and the true nature of a person. Hear me. Create time for, to talk. And what should you talk about? Now, every couple that is here, you know why you are not compatible? Why you are always having misunderstanding? You don't have time to talk. You see that when you come back from work, please, I'm tired. You just go to bed. Where's my food? The only thing that your man says, where's my food? Or, let's go to Jerusalem. Let, and let's go to Jerusalem. Or sex, or Israel. Grow. Now, what should you talk about? I just noted um, three things here. One, talk about the things of God. Now, to those of you that are in courtship, what should you talk about? You are young. When you meet a lady, young man, talk about the things of God. By this, you will know her level of knowledge in God. See, anyone that does not fear God will never fear you. Anyone that does not love God will never love you. Now, and the same thing, husband and wife. This is my wife. I don't have two. It's only one I have. I don't have two homes. I have only one. You know, some of you that you'll be doing misunderstanding, you'll be saying, look at continue. See, no plane can last long on the sky without landing on the airport. Your family life is your airport. You are the plane. Now, let me talk to those that are young. Talk about the things of God. What is that person's mindset about the things of God? Now, look up. Look up. If your wife, brother, eh, does not have understanding of the things of God, if you have spiritual problem, you will die. Do you think your enemy is only physical? There are some battles of your life that is spiritual. 
that she will wake up in the night, she'll be praying. When, I, when she wakes me up, what happened? Why didn't you wake me? She'll say, I know that you were stressed today, but I got a dream about you I don't like, so I want to pray. I was praying for you. At, at times, she will tell me to join her. That's why you must talk about, I'm still talking to the youth now, talk about, when you are talking, talk about spiritual life. Emma come out will face, oh fine, ah, oh fine. So, Gumbadi, oh fine, you wrong. Are you getting what I'm saying? I just want you to see what Samson saw. She pleased him. One of the things too I saw that made me marry her, I knew that she was a praying woman. Not a party woman. My wife is not a party woman. I can say it anywhere. Anywhere. Choti eti, loti eti, wanshe in choti ni. Hello? Now, back to the youth, young people. Mama will still talk about you very well in the second service. Now, when I said you should talk about her fear, uh, 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 about things of God, you will know her level. I wrote here, by this you will know his or her level of knowledge of God. Because whoever does not truly really love God cannot sincerely love you. Because somebody is saying, hey, she's not born the guy, no, but I love her. Ah. Two, what do you talk about? Talk about his or her chosen career in your courtship. Talk about career. What's your plan? Even those of you that are married, do you discuss your, your career? Do you talk about in the next 10 years? Now, I and my wife, we discuss as I just said, she was still telling her the children, ah, let's focus on so, 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 and so area. As we go, we can use this so, so, and so area to secure our financial family, our family financial destiny. Now, if you as a man, you want to be rich, and your wife is the type that believes that in her mindset, you are her alpha, you are her omega, you must buy everything for her, including her pad. You are in trouble. Discuss. Ask, ask her. She's the one here. We talk at home. Because somebody is saying, Pastor, what will I be saying? I come from work, I'm tired. You don't need to be tired. Whether you like it or not, one day, it's either they sack you from work or you resign from work. Where will you return to? You will return home. You might retire based on your, you no longer have energy. Or Obama. And they can sack you based on, uh, well, you've stayed too long, so you are no longer useful for us. But one place they cannot sack you is where? It's your home. And if you don't discuss and you don't develop what we call intimacy, when you retire from active work, you are coming home to come and die. It's true. Because Kosin Koto Yarapayon became your dawa. Bible says what? Woe unto him that is alone. The wife that you are not talking to when you are young, running around, is it that one you want to talk to when you are old? Because a day you latile. Am I communicating? Talk about his or her chosen career. See how he or she talks about his or her career. This will show you how serious he or she will be committed to making it. You know, there are some men, they don't want to make it. They want to make it by mouth, but they don't want to walk. I, I had to rebuke one of our brothers in church. You know what you always say? I, I want to see me serious. Eh? I want to see me Monique in America, Monique in London, one serious. Ah. Brother Joko, show you in that room. Oh, me, Munia, Papa, Kilode. Munshi, I ye yila want to see one. One by shop of one, one son will live one. Yeah, where there be my one son will operation. Want to gather wood yet to love your business. Lay you to one of your one, see, or nifer, or nifer, 
Eh? She, she will go to law, turn law, turn fifty five, get daddy me travel abroad. Check his name, Louis Kofu. Ah, money brother, I told him, eh, le make it. And I told him, I said, Amy, go near auntie, la broad. Mulawa, bro, la broad. They are not my source. I didn't train myself like that. Can you imagine if my wife wake up in the morning and say, Honey, what do we eat? I'm waiting for my auntie. Kutie ni fe mi mujeri e. Iwo na ma laju e ko wa gbe talubo o. You know there's what we call talubo wife. Talubo ti ko si e loju ni e. Ah. Wa wa ma fi gbo aye e geru. A woman that doesn't want to work. Tobacco business for Asholu Mafira. O ti wo ni e. You had my wife said to you yet last week. She had said it now. That she she does not she it's not like so many of you she has not come one day to say honey I want to buy a wig wig. Mabelo we kuhu leni eh. Ah, pastor we must eja toba chebiri mani eja parile taba parile wata kodi gidi taba parile ah ah ele gun wig ele lo baba tu parile taba tu solo wig atuli kum mi she. You know why I can say that and there will be no crisis in my home? Because of her mindset. She pleased him. Another thing you must talk about, now those of you who are married, don't forget, talk about, don't just write check and give to your wife. You are disturbing me or take one million. No, no, no. Talk. Talk. I used to tell my wife, Ah, let God just give me one breakthrough. I can give you 10 million. Because I know if I give you 10 million, it's not going to be wasted. I have seen what you have done with the money you have gathered by yourself. What are the third things you talk about? I'll close from there. Talk about his or her beliefs about opposite sex. Talk about it. Young people, ask your Fiancé, what do you believe about who a man is? Do you know that some ladies don't believe in submitting to a man? Some ladies don't believe. Do you know that there are some men, they don't believe that a woman is their helper? Some men see women as baby factory. I was in a taxi one day. And the taxi driver was saying, ah, some people were doing wedding. And they were coming out of the hall. We were driving. And he was now telling his friend. He said, eh, hey, ribo dae. Okwa tia, wotan jo njo yen. Uti lo gbe iya iwo siye. Ah, muni gbe iya iwo. Uni be ni, uni iya to mbe ni wo. Unan pe ni, obe ni iya iwo. Now, look at his mindset. It shows you that if such a man should get married, he cannot have respect for a woman. In courtship, talk. Find out his beliefs or her belief about the opposite sex. I wrote here, this will expose your knowledge on how he will relate with you when you both get married. There are some men, they believe that the woman's, it's just like what our president went to do in America. When they said, uh, Aisha, uh, uh, Aisha Bwari said, uh, my husband, if my husband didn't do well, I will not vote for him for second term. And I will encourage you not to vote for him. So he got to America, they asked him, they said, did you listen to what your wife said? That if you didn't do this first term very well, she won't vote for you, and she will encourage you not to vote for you. You know what he said? He said, my wife, my wife. Our office is in my kitchen. I was ashamed. Nigerian president believes that the office of a woman is in. That's why I'm not surprised that Aisha is living in Dubai and she's he is living in Nigeria. They are not compatible. I'm not surprised. Some of you are you you blinded yourself. That's why now some of you are married to a woman that you are not you, that is not your talking mate. And when he talks to talking, high cube, yeah, low. 
ni won lo fa ki lo de fa o diju boya nkan kan di e loju bi o rowo lowo sister yen o wa sateleke ibi to ti na wo e lo ti ni ring ti wole o ko je ki boya o kan wo pe a je ki sare se la re i always say when you are born again be born again We talk, come to our house. We are, if we close service today and we get back home, we are still going home to go and talk. We talk and talk and talk and talk. Why? Because we have been talking from the beginning. And like I always tell people, it is not prayer that unites a couple, it is talking. It is not sex that unites a couple, it is talking. It is not money that unites a couple, it is talking. And when you keep talking together, you grow at the same pace. I want to rest my case. It will remain small. So go back to that Judges 14, 7 and 8. Judges 14, 7 and 8. Because some men used to come and meet me. Papa, I want mom. About two or three men have come to meet me in that church. I want mom. I want to meet me in that church. Mofe, a month of months of month. And brother, late entry. Late entry. Jam to close. Want a form. Put on a late entry. Ngotori. Kotofe. Ni wang batu de ti to kabo. Kusiba balen to ma gay. Beshe ma jolulli a ye for life ni ye. But you that are young, you see, do you know that you still have chance? That's why I keep telling young people, see, broken courtship is allowed. It is only broken marriage that is not allowed. If you get to a point you are not satisfied, that's why I see, don't allow any man to have sex with you on the way. You two don't have sex with any lady on the way so that if they curse you, nothing will stick to you. Mad dick, that one. But do it right. How do you do it right? Is what I've shown you. Are you pleased in your conversations? Bro, are you pleased? Because, you know, her conversations reflect her mindset. Are you pleased? This one that you are not talking now, those of you that are married, I don't know, my husband, my wife is not running again. My husband, my wife is not serving God. My husband, my late entry. I need to put her phone more. I close. I will turn in. I close. We will teach you in the second service. We will be talking about divorce. But in this service, now, and you are already married, hear me. Uti wa mo kuti one sin. One de ta form mo bai. Form ti close. Ba o di mo shi wa fe she. Pa da lo le ni ke joma talk yo. Create time. Mo mo kuma strange fo. Ya, ba le ni. To ya ke, to ba ma wali ba le ni mbo wa sun. Start from somewhere. You may come and say, ah, I quelle. Ah, bow Denny, how was your day? Ah, yeah, let me Oh, Mama, why won't you bust up? Don't go, man, saying, Conto Kawan Shoshi. You know, some women are so funny, and you can say, She said, Conto Bellelano, oh, my food, you are ready. If you look at Bassoro, she'll lie at Bamisoro. You greet her, look for things that interest her, and make sure you don't give up. Because when you start it, let me speak from the experience we've gathered. When you start discussing, there is a tendency that you have misunderstandings. Refuse to misunderstand. Are you hearing me? Don't allow it. When, there's, when it wants to show up, don't allow yourself. 
to get angry. Just make sure you be calm. Now, develop it like that until it gets to a point that it becomes part of your spouse's life. Are you blessed? Have you learned something? Put your hands together for Jesus. From the first session, we were taught that women, who are you? You are helpers. Please, lay hold on the message. She gave us that illustration of the prophet's widow. She was calm until her husband died of stress. Imagine if she had done what she did when the man was alive. Man, you Obama cool. Mom, okay? I know that some women are here, you are angry with your husband. So you decide to say, ah, what's the problem? Ah, I will not do anything. See, God forbid, if he should die, that's when you will know that he's been alive, he's covering some things. Don't let it get to that point. Take hold of what you have been taught today and start putting it to practice. The Lord bless you. Let's be on our feet. Let's be on our feet. Begin to thank the Lord for the word you have heard. Begin to give him thanks. For the message of this morning, thank him. Say, Lord, I'm grateful. Lord, I'm grateful. Help me that I will not just be here alone, but a doer of this word. Now, rebuke every spirit of self-justification. Ah, my body, my mother, my can help. Don't, don't justify yourself. No matter how, there are ways by which you can still help him. There are ways to help him. If you don't make up your mind to help him, God will not show you areas that you can help this man. Now, if you are there, your, your heart is broken, you are sad, your husband has hurt you, begin to pray. Say, Lord, I forgive my husband. You, if it's your wife, say, Lord, I forgive my wife. All the wives, they begin to pray. Please show me how to help my husband. I want to hear you pray. All the women, show me how to help him. Show me my assignment in his life. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you talking to the Lord? Show me my assignment in his life, oh God. All the young brothers and sisters here, begin to pray for yourself. Lord, wisdom to be able to identify the right person by conversation alone. Let it be activated in my life. Are you praying? In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Exalted Father, we thank you again this morning.